Good morning, girls. It's Mariah here, and as always, we thank you for tuning in to Mariah's Monday Makeover. Well, today is Labor Day, which means it's sort of the official end of summer and the start of fall. And the tricky part is that this time of year, Mother Nature is a little bit confused. She doesn't quite know what she wants to be, but usually the mornings and the evenings are definitely cooling down, but the days can still be warm. So how do you dress for fall yet still kind of feel like summer if the temps are warm outside? And the answer to that is to just pick up a few great blouses. Now, the three that I'm just highlighting and featuring right now are new arrivals to Giloretta. And what's great is that like the colors and some of the textures are perfect for fall, yet the weight of them feels like summer. They're just cool, almost sheer lightweight fabrications. You can layer a simple tank or camisole underneath. And you know, there are also pieces that as we actually do really cool down, you could put you know, a great little cropped blazer over it or a vest, something like that, you know, to add that extra layer of warmth. And one thing that I love about a blouse is the versatility of it. You know, I've, I've done um, some Monday makeovers before on blouses. And it's just really important to think outside of the box because with the blouse, they can be untucked and flowier and a little bit more tunicky if you're not, you know, wanting something structured. I love, like, what I did here, I mixed this purple, tucked it in. I could do, a, like, a great chunky belt right here. You know, or you can even um, do what we call the mullet tuck, where again, you kind of tuck it in the front and leave it long in the back and you're creating that sort of high-low effect. So there's really a lot of versatility that you can have with the blouse because of the weight of the fabrication. It's trickier to do, say, if you have like a thick sweater or a turtleneck. You know, you don't have as much versatility in those pieces like you do in blouses. Now, one other thing that's come up over the last few weeks that is not related to blouses, but I feel like I should probably talk about is pantyhose. Now, if you started to go through your issues, you're seeing pantyhose as sort of having a comeback. You know, there's a lot of the young gals wearing it, and it's stylish, and it's trendy, and they, you know, so I feel like a lot of my customers are saying, Mariah, is it okay? Should I wear it now? And I just always say, let's hesitate on that. I say, put on the pumps, because if you have worn the pantyhose before as, let's call it a trend, I would say let's probably skip that right now. I think um, depending, again, sometimes on your age, it can actually make you look a little bit more matronly, you know, whereas just using a simple self-tanner or a bronzer on your leg is going to give you a younger, fresher effect. Now, if you're just someone that, you know, you say, Mariah, but winter's coming and, you know, they're showing pantyhose, what I would do is I would just opt for an opaque tight, something that's, you know, not see-through at all, not sheer. And if it's something that you feel like you just have to do this trend and you really want to wear the pantyhose, go for something that bo that's bold that really shows you're a fashion girl. You know, they're doing a lot of the sheer with that little polka dot detail or maybe, you know, there's a little bit of a floral um, print to it. But, again, if you're going to go for it, you have to go big. Otherwise, I think it's going to end up making you know, someone look a little bit more matronly or aging them. So that's just my little bit of tip because it just keeps coming up over the last few weeks. So back to the blouses though, these three are just a few that I have in the store. I've got gorgeous navy blues and other colors coming in for fall that again, read fall, but feel like summer. So come in this week to Giloretta and add a beautiful blouse to your fall wardrobe and enjoy your Labor Day. Bye girls.